<laughs> it's a false choice to have to choose between clean air and a healthy economy. The reality is all the studies show, all the economic studies out there show that cleaning up our air creates a healthy economy. It also creates a healthy population. And doesn't Utah deserve that? Yeah. So, Governor Herbert, tell me how cleaning up our air is bad for the economy. Okay, I want him to answer that question. So, I think what Governor Herbert means to say is that cleaning up the air is bad for the economy of his donors. Yeah. 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 made $14 billion through the year before in profit. Boo. Tell me they can't afford Boo. to spend a billion or two on cleanup and do the right thing yes. in the communities in which they're operating, one of which is right here in Utah. <laughs> My name is Creighton Horton. I left Los Angeles many, many years ago to move to Salt Lake. One of the reasons was I was leaving the smog, and now we have this to contend with. I uh, have a situation my wife would love to be here today, but she is so negatively affected by this air that it's misery for her. And you know, this bad air affects all of us, but you can't tell how much it's affecting some of us as much as others. But it's sort of like the frog in the pot that's with the boiling water. And everybody becomes an environmentalist at the point that they can't breathe. We need political will to do something about this now. Thank you. What we're talking about when we're talking about the air that we breathe is something that you just can't put a price on. You can't privatize it to any meaningful degree. What we do here is have to build the political will for us as legislators to take collective action. That's the way that we're going to clean up our air. It's no coincidence, coincidence I don't think, that Utah has the number one diagnosed, Utah's highest in diagnosis of autism. And also our air pollution is probably the worst in the United States. It's about time that our government does something regarding this. Um, it's affecting too many kids and too many families. Thanks. This is a health issue. I look yeah. at the kids, I know what they're going through. And during the last inversion, I got a present I didn't want to have for the first time in my life, an inhaler. And I think a lot of you know what it's like to have to live with this when the air is really bad. This is important, but we need your help. A lot of you have contacted the governor, but you need to contact your legislators. You need to find out who represents you in the House, who represents you in the Senate. And if you've got somebody that's already on board, go to your friends that live in other districts and ask them to contact their legislators. Everyone needs to hear from us to know how important it is to clean up our air. So let's talk for a minute about the air. Let, let's start out, let's utter a collective yuck. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah! That was very good.